Today, Portsmouth is facing a major shakeup in leadership. Two city leaders are out. City manager Dr. Lydia Pettis Patton resigned today, and city council fired city attorney Solomon Ashby. Allie Weatherton is live in Portsmouth, and Allie, what are people saying about all this tonight? <laughs> Well, Janet, they tell me it's something they really didn't expect. If you take a look behind me, you can see less than an hour ago, a few dozen people gathered here at the Commodore Theater. They are now there, but they say the interim city manager, they want Chief Angela Green back on the job. Off the job, Lydia Pettis Patton resigned today as Portsmouth City Manager. I have nothing to say negative about Dr. Patton. I think she's done the best job that she could have done considering the circumstances and this power structure that's in place in this city right now. Her email to the mayor, vice mayor and council members said in part through prayer and reflection, I have decided that in the best interest of the city of Portsmouth to step aside immediately as city manager conditioned upon the city meeting its obligations owed to me under my contract. She initially planned to retire at the end of this year. My heart did skip a beat because I was not aware of it. Pettis Patton's resignation comes three days after she placed police chief Angela Green on paid administrative leave, but city leader said that's not the reason she decided to resign. Green State Green! Green State Green! People rallied in support of Chief Green and called for the firing of Pettis Patton over the weekend. Then today, just hours before city council members held a special meeting to discuss personnel matters, Pettis Patton emailed her resignation. Because of her already planned retirement, city leaders already hired a recruiting firm to find the next city manager. And Deputy City Manager Lavoris Pace will serve as interim city manager for the time being. Live in Portsmouth, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now.